Battleground Games Live! And welcome to a stream that has been not cooperating with me. No. <laughs> Ooh, if I can get in shot here. Hi guys! I'm Andrew, and with me I have Amanda. Hi! And we are participating, or I am participating right now, in a Battleground tradition. So Battleground Games does this thing uh, every new release for Magic the Gathering, where we take a uh, bundle, which is this lovely thing, used Former to be called a fat pack. Formerly fat packs. Yes, formerly fat packs. And we build a sealed deck from that bundle. So I have my brand new bundle of Hour of Devastation. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna do my deck build right here on the stream. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, our capture for the card images is not working the way I wanted it to do. I only had an hour to debug it and it never got working quite properly. That's annoying. It, it was rather annoying, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I know, fine. I've been here watching you be annoyed by it, so. It's fine. Everything's fine. We've got a kludge working. I have a camera, I have a document camera, which is out of reach because I have short cords and I need more extensions. So I am not participating in the bundle rumble, but I am going to open a box of boosters. Amanda, can you move your popcorn down? I guess. I mean, we could show the people on stream. Amanda got I popcorn. I bought delicious popcorn today. Fine. Oh, we also have suspend. You can see that orange canister there behind Amanda. That is Suspend, which is a awesome game that Amanda is going to play on the stream after I have constructed my deck. If I can get anyone to play it, to, yeah. uh, play it with me. Hopefully. You can get a couple of participants to play some Suspend. So my uh, buy a box promo was Wildfire Eternal. You want me to put it on the stream? Sure. Hopefully they can see it through the sleeve. There you go, guys. Wildfire Eternal. It's the buy a box promo for Hour of Devastation. So in the bundle, there's a bunch of stuff. There's some filler. This is just a cardboard box. It's got the Planeswalker symbol on it there. Um, there is, this is, you know, a sleeve that has some nice art on it. It also usually has art inside. Yeah, there's art on the inside as well. Oh, and they there's fixed it so that you can box. actually detach it without ripping it. Oh. It has a uh, big Nicky B. Cool. There's this excellent book. We've collected a whole bunch of these. There's theft protection tag, which I'm going to throw away because I didn't steal this. He bought it with uh, real money. This is the Hour of Devastation book that comes inside. And it's got, you know, a list of cards that are in the set. It's got some uh, flavor. It's got like more detail on their picks and the mechanics of the set. So this is a handy little book to have, and the only way to get it is to buy a bundle. So we'll hang on to that. Hey, and Andy. And this is the meat of the thing, is this lovely box, yes. When you organize our cards at home, you do yeah. them by color or alphabetical? Uh, by color, yeah. I, Done. I organize by card number, and we have a database. Just wanna make um, sure I'm doing I it use, the way you're doing it these days. I use deckbox.org to uh, hold my database, actually. I'm gonna grab my phone because I didn't put the chat up there so that I can check and see if anybody's watching. Swamp. Thrill as I check my phone. So exciting. There we go. Now if anybody talks in chat, I'll be able to see you there. Oh yeah, because we don't have it up Although, on the screen. I might have some feedback going on. Did I mute this? I did not mute this. Zoop. There we go. That must have been confusing. All right, so, so I have my, the chat up. My first rare was uh, Grind to Dust, mm. which is one of the uh, uh, Aftermath cards. And my second rare is Hour of Promise. It's the desert hour. It's the oh, yeah. They're looking for a desert. Yep. Oh, I, I have not finished going through what's oh, in my box. Going. So I just I had started opening, so I yeah. thought I would mention. I have a spin down. This is a really, really lovely spin down. The it's Hour of Devastation pretty. spin downs are really nice looking. I have a pack that is all tokens. Uh, very handy because there's a lot of stuff that can turn into tokens in this set. Mm -hmm. 
Um, they have a new mechanic called Eternalize, and Eternalize will make a card. Um, it makes a token of a card that's in your graveyard, except that that token is a 4-4 four, four, instead of whatever that creature normally is. These are all just lands. There's an entire pack of lands. Looks like they're all full arts. No, no, they're not no. all full arts, but there are some full arts in there. So I've got some full art devastation lands. Very, very cool. Uh, oh, my camera is all knocked askew. Oh, no. Uh, How did that happen? There. Better. I'm going to start opening packs. Do it. So, oh, oh, they've got a reminder card. Quick reference. How to play magic. That's handy. And then In I've case got you're brand new to it. Ten packs of uh, Hour of Devastation. I was going to say Ammon Cat, but it's not Ammon Cat. It it's is Hour not Ammon Cat. So I'm going to start opening packs and sorting, and I then we'll get to the deck building portion. Opened up a Remunap Hydra in my mm. next... I had another rare. Tell me if there's anything you want me to put onto the camera. Yeah, I haven't opened anything real spicy yet. So, so I sort by color. I need that box to hold the cards, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't use it I'm not using trash. it for trash. No, we're not. I'm going to need to put the cards in there. Ah, the wretched camel. <laughs> Poor guy. All so zombified. sad. Keep my lands separate. Uh, the wretched camel is a one and a black for a 2-1 zombie camel. When it dies, if you control a desert or there's a desert card in your graveyard, target player discards a card. So I got a wildfire. Seems pretty decent. That was my first rare. I should actually, I'm going to put my rares slightly above so I can keep track of them move things down so they're all on camera. No, you can see that. That's fine. Uh, so whenever I'm doing a sealed event, and don't take this stream as, uh, you know, how to build a successful deck, because I am not often successful no. in my sealed event per participation. But he has fun. Exactly. So. I have fun building. Um, my next rare is Scavenger Grounds. It's a land desert. Tap it to add a colorless to your mana pool. Or for two generic and tap, sacrifice a desert and exile all cards from all graveyards. My second rare is a Nimble Obstructionist. And I have a Foil Steadfast Sentinel. I haven't opened any foils land. yet. So this sealed event, since I'm working with 10 packs, is kind of extreme. Um, it makes it difficult because there's a lot to choose from when you have that many cards. So generally I just, it's probably not a good policy, but I tend to look at what I have the most rares in and base my color choices on that, and then work on the mechanics from those rares. Not necessarily good rares, just yeah. rares. Here's um, Rona's last So stand. I had just said that I hadn't opened any foils, and then I opened a foil desert's hold. So uh, right. my next rare is Hostile Desert. Uh, it's a land desert. Tap it to add a color list to your mana pool. And then oh, for two generic, again. exile a land card from your graveyard, and it becomes a 3-4 elemental creature until end of turn that is still a land. Mm. I really wish that I had been able to get the digital cards thing working. This is not ideal. No. Do you want to try and prop that on something? No, I just need to move it closer to the computer. The cord is uh, gotcha. dragging on it. Here we go. I don't even know if that's legible in the stream. If anybody's watching, tell us if you can actually read that. If anyone is uh, keeping track of the magic story or was and stopped, um, go back, read it. I it's don't know. It sounds pretty devastating and brutal. Yeah, I, I. Um, it's 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 pretty sad. I feel like I don't want to yeah, be on well, this plane anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we're leaving it. Ooh, there's my first mythic. Ooh. Samet, the tested. Nice. You open Samet. Yep. Planeswalker. S I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Samut. Samut, I'm Samut. sorry. Moot. Uh, so Samut is a planeswalker for two, a red and a green. 
And uh, for plus one, starts with four loyalty. For plus one, up to one target creature gains double strike. Handy. For minus two, Samut uh, deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two target creatures and or players. And for minus seven, so you'd have to plus one it three times before it could do it, search your library for up to two creatures and or planeswalker cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. I like putting stuff onto the battlefield without paying its cost, but I don't know that Samut is going to get to neg seven. We'll see. Um, my next rare was the Wildfire that is Eternal. Something to be excited about. Uh, three and a red for a zombie jackal cleric. It's a one four with afflict four. So when it becomes blocked, defending player loses four life. So tough for you. Um, and whenever it attacks and isn't blocked, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. It's slightly high cost, but it seems pretty decent. I I would try to play it. My red is looking pretty good, I gotta say. If I was yeah. gonna be using the cards that I had opened so far to build something, um, I probably would be looking at red-black, which isn't normally my jam, but there you go. Sometimes the cards do it. Got a Pocky Clips Demon. Apocalypse Demon is my rare for this pack. Uh, its power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. At the beginning of your upkeep, uh, tap Apocalypse Demon unless you sacrifice another creature. So he eats creatures, he's an XX, I don't know. He's not yeah. as good as Nightmare or, you know, other things with power and toughness equal to the graveyard. But I guess if you're cycling stuff, he could be handy. Uh, my Ooh, next I got one a Manolith. Is, uh, That's nice. Kefnet's last word. Two and two blue sorcery. Gain control of target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. I don't know. Oh, it seems pricey. Unless you're getting something really good out of it. I don't know. I got the green hour. Nice. That's the hour of promise. It's a Not sorcery. The, that's the Search desert. Search your library for up to two land cards and put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Then if you control three or more deserts, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Yeah. So, and actually, I got a zombie creature token so in that There box. you go. So. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's the proven uh, combatant. Eternalized. Making progress. I'm more than halfway through. Well, I've now opened a couple of the defeats. I've opened um, Nissa's defeat and Chandra's defeat. Uh, Obelisk Spider. Ronus's last stand. Two green sorcery. Create a five green snake creature token. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. Honestly, this feels a lot more worth it than um, that blue one because this is a much lower cost and you get a five four green snake creature token out of the deal and it doesn't just go away. Like it, that's not a one turn snake. That's, that's your snake, you own that now. Yeah. Um, so I think that's far more worth it. That's a 5-4 snake token for 2 green, and you don't get to untap your lands the next untap step. Well, you know, maybe you're cool with that if you've got a 5-4 snake for 2. I don't know if it would be good in, uh, in like, constructed, but I think in like limited like sealed or draft that would get into a deck maybe my third to last rare is torment of Hailfire. Mm. um repeat the following process x times each sacrifice lose uh, each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card and x is equal to it's in the casting cost so it's two black and x and each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card X times. So, oh, Jace's defeat. Hmm? So yeah, I'm, I'm slowly defeat. defeating my way through the gate watch. Um, swarm intelligence, six and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell and choose new targets for the copy. I mean, if you've gotten to the point where you have seven mana to spend on this, 
that's nice to get double your spells, but I kind of feel like that's late game. Ooh, I got a second mythic. Overwhelming Splendor. Nice. I haven't opened a single mythic yet. Uh, it is a enchantment or a curse for six and two white. Well, that doesn't seem like something that would happen in limited. Uh, enchant player. Creatures enchanted player controls lose all ability and have base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Enchanted player can't activate abilities that aren't mana abilities or loyalty abilities. That's uh, pretty harsh. Yeah, it is. But again, I need to get to eight to be able to do it. I don't know. Last pack. Got a Driven to Despair. It's another Aftermath card. It's the green black one. My last rare is Grind to Dust. Hmm. Grind puts Neg 1, Neg 1 counters on creatures, and Dust in Aftermath exiles creatures that have Neg 1, Neg 1 counters on them. I kind of like that. My next rare is Hazaret's Undying Fury. Four and two red, which seems real pricey. Um, shuffle, it's a sorcery. Shuffle your library, then exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them without paying their mana costs and lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. No, no, that's, no, that's not a good card. It's not a good card. All right, I'm so sorry. now I have to think about what I love I'm going to do. Um, and if, you're f if you follow the story, you'll know Hazaret um, is the only one of the five gods to uh, make it through the story alive, I believe, or she was last time I read anything. Um, and yeah, I uh, I like her. I'm happy she she survived. I'm just it's not a great card. It's real expensive for a, a dubious payoff because you're shuffling your deck and then you're exiling five cards. I believe is it five cards? No, it's four cards. All right, so I have to make some decisions. Yeah, four cards. And then you can pay the non-land, you can, if they're five or less, CMC, non-land cards, you can pay them without paying, it, that, that's a lot of conditions. It's a lot of conditions for a very expensive card. I really want to try and play with Samut. Samut. Samut, I keep doing that. <laughs> moot, moot. What else do I have in Samut's colors? Hour of Glory is my, my next uh, rare. It's a three and a black, instant, exile target creature. If that creature was a god, its controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards from it with that same name as that creature. I mean, I don't know how likely it is that you're going to have multiple copies of the same god in your hand at any given time, but uh, it's a nice way to get a god out of the way. And uh, there's some pretty nasty gods in this this block, so so I'm I'm chill with that. I have gotten a whole bunch of those wretched camels. I'm gonna start a caravan. All right, so a wretched caravan. I really want to play with some. Uh -huh. So I think I'm going to go red-green. Okay. And I have a couple of black rares. Like, I feel like maybe I'm going to try and jund them out. Jund them out! Obviously, that's what you should do. Um, so my next rare was the Earthshaker Kenra. Uh, one in a red for a 2-1 Jackal Warrior with haste. I like haste. Um, when it enters the battlefield, target creature with power less than or equal to Earthshaker Kenra's power can't block this turn. And you can eternalize it. 
Yeah. Make it all shiny and blue and mean. Did I get? I wonder if I got. If I am. I got the token for it. Put claim to fame in. <coughs> Bless you. Knew that was coming. That's why I covered my mic. Um, so Earthshaker Kenra's token has the same ability that Earthshaker Kenra does, which is when it enters the battlefield, uh, a creature with its uh, power or like less than or equal to its power, except for the Earthshaker Kenra's eternalized token is a 4-4 four four instead of a 2-1, which gives you a lot more options. So Cheap creature to get out, but uh, if you can hang on to it for a while and get some more mana up, you could make it... Uh, Big and mean and nasty and upsetting. Ooh, hippo. I have opened a lot of deserts, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this little stack here is all deserts. So I have to admit, I haven't really looked at the spoilers for this set very extensively. And I've been, um, we were away last weekend, so I yeah. missed the pre-release. I haven't played with these cards at all yet. I don't even know what's um, good. I have opened a Chaos Maw. Five and two red Hellion. It's a six, six. When it enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to each other creatures. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I, I don't think I would play it, but I'm amused by it. I, I'm especially amused by the flavor text on it, which is uh, the food chain doesn't end at sandworms. It does not care about you. I'm going red, green, and red, green, black, Jund. Um, my goal should be big, stompy creatures, because I'm good at that. Yeah. And then black for removal. Yeah. Red also gives me some damage. Um, reason to believe is my next rare. It's the blue, green aftermath card. Scry three for one. And then, uh, Look at the top card of your library. You can put it onto the battlefield if it's a creature card. If you don't, put it into your hand for four and a green. It's expensive. I don't know. I mean, the scry is nice, but I don't know if I'd ever use the aftermath for part of it. I have not opened a single mythic. Wow. I am like halfway through this box. Uh, Apocalypse Demon. I've got a bunch of the cycling deserts. Mm-hmm. Which are the common deserts, right? Survivor's Encampment lets you do some mana fixing, so maybe I want that. I've got a couple manoliths, which give me a little ramp. Yeah. And I have uh, oh, Remnant Ruins. Oh, well, there's, there's, there's a mythic. There's um, so I just opened a Razaketh the Foul-Blooded. Five and three black. Legendary creature demon, 8-8, eight, eight, with flying and trample. And you can pay two life, sacrifice another creature, search your library for a card, and put that card into your hand. Then shuffle your library. You want to put that on camera? Sure. So, yeah, there's a mythic. That's, Yay, that's sure a thing. I should probably put him in a sleeve, huh? I 
really like the Unraveling Mummy. It's uh, but just flavor-wise and mechanically, I just I really like the Unraveling Mummy. One, it's a color combo that I enjoy, which is white and black. So it's one white, black, two, three, zombie. For one and a white, target attacking zombie gains lifelink until end of turn. For one and a black, target attacking zombie gains death touch until end of turn. And there's no tap on that, so that's just a mana ability. So you could do that for a bunch of creatures, and that would be super cool. Uh, so my next one, I'm getting a lot of the rare Aftermath cards as my rares. Hmm. Um, leave to Chance, the white-red. Got all of my black cards are commons except for the Apocalypse Demon. Wow. The Torment of Hailfire. Maybe, maybe you don't go, John. Vile manifestations. What, uh, what else do you have? Is it, are you, are, like... I mean, claim to fame isn't really that special. No. I think, yeah, I, I don't care about black. I'm just going red-green. I mean, yeah, why why Jundam when you can go gruel? It's going to be a grueling trip through the desert. <laughs> all right, so I get rid of all those. This is still oh. a big pile of deserts here. Another uh, mythic for me. Apparently they were all in the latter half of the box. The Locust God. Um, Locust God is one of the new gods, or one of the very old gods who lost their names. Very mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. uh, four blue red for a 4-4 four, four legendary god. With flying, because it's a Locust God. Um, whenever you draw a card, you create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. For 2 blue red, draw a card, then discard a card. When the Locust God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. He's not nice. He's not nice. Here. You want know, to put that on camera? Sure. Yay, Locust God. Give me Razaketh. Good old Razzy. Give him the razzle dazzle. Oh, oh Nate, no. Nate is in the chat. Huh? Hi, Nate. Hi, we Nate. miss you too. Um, Andy, can I can Yo. I just say that now, if you ever play Razaketh, you have to just like say that you're gonna give it the old razzle dazzle. Oh, razzle dazzle. Yeah, Razaketh is now the razzle dazzle. God, I really two, like the two. Ruin Rat. I really like the Ruin Rat. If you're going to make a rat tribal deck, Ruin Rat is, is a nice addition. One in a black for a 1-1 one, one rat. Okay, fine, whatever. But it has Death Touch, so that's nice. And when it dies, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. It's nice. It's nice. Another Earthshaker, Kenra. I'm going to pull up the chat on my computer. Hmm. hmm, not in love with this so far, but I'll build something. I mean, are there any other co colors that you're feeling? Not really. I, I don't know. I, I'm, do I care about life gain? I don't think I care about life gain. I don't think you care about life gain. That's an expensive mana dork. I have Oasis Ritualist. It's three Ooh. and a green for a mana dork. I don't know. Ooh, okay. I'm okay with this pack. Um, so my rare for this pack was uh, Solemnity. For two and a white, it's an enchantment. Players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. So I like that. And Hour of Glory. Uh, I got a foil. 
uh, three and a black instant. This is also a rare. Exile target creature. If that creature was a god, its controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards from it with the same name as that creature. I'm okay with those as rares and a foil rare. I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh, and I got the insect token to go with my insect god, to go with my locust god. Yay. see what I've got here and then proceed forward. Oh, another mythic. Uh, oh, there's a lot of cards. So I opened Overwhelming Splendor. Six and two white for an aura curse. Enchant player. Creatures enchanted player controls lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Enchanted player can't activate abilities that aren't mana abilities or loyalty abilities. Isn't that charming? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Overwhelming splendor. It's big Nikki B for you. Uh -huh. All right. So what I'm doing now uh -huh. is I'm sorting stuff by CMC. A good call. Uh, I have creatures on the top, everything else on the bottom. And this is a good way to sort of see where my curve lies mm. and figure out if it's going to work at all. It's also a good way to visualize um, what colors you need for mana. So I, I opened the adorned pouncer. Pretty kitty. Uh, so one and a white, one concept. one cat with double strike and eternalize when it turns into a not so pretty kitty. Um, and a foil consigned to oblivion, one of the aftermath cards. I like the foil aftermath card. I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, I've got no end game here. Mm. I've got some stuff that I can probably put out on the board. I need some... I've got a little bit of ramp. So I think I need some giant stuff to ramp into. Hmm. There's a five. Yeah. Put a couple of hippos in. I can cycle them if I need to. But there, there's six cost. Oh, I, I got the whole set as my rare here. Um, I got the Hour of Devastation. It's a three and two red sorcery. All creatures lose indestructible until end of turn. Hour of Devastation deals five damage to each creature and each non-bolus planeswalker. Yeah. God, he's such a jerk. Nickel Bolus isn't that nice, guys. He's no, imagine nice. that. I think that came across in our Arch Enemy game. That we you played. think? I did notice myself getting quite cruel as uh, <laughs> Nickel Bolus. Ha 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 ha! Nicole I'm going to wipe your board. <laughs> All right, this is garbage, but I'm going to try it. So what garbage I've got, do. yeah, I've got some guys with prowess and no non-creature spells. That's not great. Oh. I've got the one thing that lets me cast a non-creature spell from my hand for free. Uh, but the only big cost things I've got are a five and a six. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So, yeah. I mean. I'm going to get rid of Rona's last stand, because why would I need a 5-4 green snake creature token for two? No, I'm going to keep it, if I can get it out early. Uh, God Pharaoh's Gift, 
seven generic at the beginning of combat on your turn you may exile a creature card from your graveyard if you do create a token that's a copy of that card except it's a four four black zombie it gains haste until end of turn so you're basically it allows you to eternalize any card or any creature all right i need to cut two I cards want a quickly piece is what i want i'm gonna had cut a long the two day. hippos because they're double green Where's my green snake token? There it is. I'm gonna keep that. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, Fraying five, six, sanity. seven deserts. Two and a blue are a curse enchant player. At the beginning of each end step, four enchanted red, player puts the top two, X cards green. of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Or X is the number of cards put in the graveyard. So I'm gonna do five and Ew. five for my mana. One. Do I have enough? Full arts. Two. One. Very much for me when I'm building a deck, especially when I've had a really long day like I've had today, it reaches a point where I'm like, I can't even think anymore. I'm just going to put some land and some creatures in a pile, and I'm going to play some magic. So I opened another mythic. Yay! I opened Neheb, the Eternal. Um, three and two red for a four, six zombie minotaur warrior, legendary, uh, with afflict three. And at the beginning of your post-combat main phase, add one red to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, is dinged coming out of the pack. I'm annoyed. Yeah, I had one that was dinged coming out of the pack. You, that's your mythic is dinged? Oh. Yeah. Do you still have the pack wrapper? I tossed it in there because yeah. I've been tossing my packs away. It's not that big a deal. What, are we going to sell Neheb? No. Are we likely to sell off our... So this frontline devastator. Every time I see the name of it, all I can think about is like frontline, like the like flea and tick. Oh, thing okay, that you yeah. Put on the back. Use it against a quarry beetle. Yeah, it's a frontline devastator. Get rid of all the beetles and stuff, right? So I don't need any of my tokens except my snake token. Wow. I'm just looking at the text on everything. Champion of Wits, two and a blue. Uh, for a 2-1 Naga Wizard, when Champion of Wits enters the battlefield, you may draw oh. cards equal to its power. If you do, two, discard two, two cards, two and then you can eternalize it for five and two blue. Let's double count here. I should have 23 cards. Oh, good. I got the big kitty. I got a pride sovereign One, for two and a green. He's a cat. And 17 He's lands. He's a really big cat. Um, he gets plus one, plus one for each other cat you control. Kitties. He starts as a two-two. And for a white and tap, you exert him to create two one one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. Yay! I got the big kitty. Yay, kitties! He makes me happy. I'm putting him over with Neb. Yeah, we're totally gonna build a all kitties deck. Oh yeah, I am.
So I guess my ultimate goal is give double strike to something huge and just smash face Wallop. With it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if I get there. Well, Gideon got defeated and Jace got defeated in the same pack. And I already Ooh. had Lily's defeat, Chandra's defeat, and Nissa's um, defeat. So All I defeated the, the Gatewatch with this box. Good for me. Um, and my rare is the, the Mirage are all uncommons, Mirror. Right? Yeah. Um, three generic for an artifact, two generic. Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. I can see that being pretty useful. I'm okay with that. Hmm. So how much time do I have? Uh, I've only got like 10 minutes. Can you see the clock from here? Uh, you have two seconds. Two seconds. All right, perfect. Hey, guys, I'm going to play with this garbage deck that I built. I'll probably only play one round and drop. Amanda's going to keep opening cards and then I've only got a few cards left. Try this to is round up some folks to play suspend. Not really set up for suspend because we have the camera down on that. Well, you can build the structure here. Yeah. I don't know if there's anyone who is up for playing with me though, so. Yeah. I don't want to promise something I can't deliver. Yeah. Uh, hollow one, five generic for a golem, four, four. Costs two generic less to cast for each card you've cycled or discarded this turn. Cycling two. Yeah, I've got three packs to open, so. All right, finish your three packs. I'm still sleeving, and I need to do some shuffling. Yep. I really hope I get some oot. I, I do too. That's uh, my goal for today, not to win any games, because I doubt I can do that with this deck. Just get some loot out. Um, so Nimble Obstructionist is my... I hear my... a on the stairs, I think. I hear a person. <gasps> Surprise. Allie! Hi! Do you want to play Suspend? My friend Allie is here. I don't know what that is. It's the balance Alan. game. Can I eat first? Yes. Of course. I didn't out I'm so glad to see you. I thought I would surprise you. <gasps> I am I am duly surprised and excited and happy. Awesome. Alright, so we have two players for suspend. Uh, Kit is not playing in the rumble, so maybe Kit will join you maybe for suspend. Maybe Kit will join us. Uh, why don't you open your last two packs? I'm I'm opening one of them and right then now. I'm going to end this stream reset things on line and come back for suspend uh so refuse to cooperate as my next rare and uh on to the last pack last one last pack what you get let's see i was really hoping i'd open a masterpiece but so it goes uh, there, there is no masterpiece in this pack. So. Oh well, it would have been nice. Would've it would have. Been nice. It would have been good because I've had a, a sort of crappy day. Yeah, but. me too. Instead, I opened Test draw. a mythic. Um, Unesh, Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. Um, he is a. a for four and two blue, four four legendary Sphinx with flying. Uh, Sphinx spells you cast cost two generic less to cast. Whenever Unesh, Cryo Sphinx, Sovereign, or another Sphinx enters the battlefield under your control, reveal the top four cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So it's a fact or fiction? On a stick. All right. I'm going to shut this down. I'm putting my Pride Sovereign in a sleeve because I'm probably yeah, going to want to use it. Up some stuff. Can I have my other two cards? Yep. My other two Mythics. Not bad. I didn't open um, some of the things that I wish I had, but I definitely did open some fun stuff. And I opened, you know, 
Big Mean Demon, and yeah. I opened Big Mean God, and cool. I opened Big Mean Minotaur, and uh, Big Not So Mean, but probably Inscrutable Sphinx. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, and we open, uh, there are some nice foils in here. I got a nice foil uh, full art island. And I opened a bunch of tokens so we can use those. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch of the Aftermath cards, which I haven't gotten to play much with, but I think are very cool in concept, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to say, have fun, guys. I will probably be back in a little bit, but I'm going to uh, go participate in a game of magic and see how badly I lose. In the meantime, stick around. When we come back, Amanda is going to play some Suspend, which is awesome fun. So it thanks for joining us for my deck build. I hope you had fun watching, and we'll be back in a little bit with Suspend. <laughs>